So water closet, types of water closet. Meron tayong siphon vortex. Ito. Water enters to diagonal punching around the rim of the bowl, creating a vortex that draws the water down into the red trap. And drill. With a swirling action that scores the wall of the bowl. Yung mga dumidumi yan, tatanggalin niya. Water is like two parallel ridges and falls over forming a jet. Producing siphonic action. A large water surface provides a very efficient and clean process and the plastic is extremely quiet. This model is mostly of one piece construction with a low profile. It's fancy. Siphon jet is other tank or plus bar. Water enters through rim punchings and jets placed in an up leg of the rear trap, filling the trapway and creating an instant siphon action without the rising of water level. The result is quick water level. A large water surface provides an efficient and clean operation with quiet flushing and moderate cost. This is the most popular residential mode. Reverse trap, uh, tank lang yan, mga tank. Water enters through rim punching and through jet that fills the rear trapway, creating a siphon action and resulting in the quick withdrawal of water from the bowl. A water is jet is located at the inlet of the trapway. Most of the bowl surface is covered with water. This model is efficient but moderately noisy. Its cost is reasonably low. Next is the wash down. Water enters to an open rim as though a bucket of water were dumped into the bowl, filling the plant trapway and creating siphon action. This model provides quick removal of water with minimum water rise. A small water surface makes the model more vulnerable to soiling and plugging. This is the least efficient and noise type, but the lowest in cost. Tikita niyo sa bahay niyo. Pressure tankless. So, ito yun. Plus bag lang yan. Babula lang. So, a strong plastic action is created by a jet of water directed into the rim um, and jet. The force of the jet draws the bowl content in the rear trap. It does not use siphonic action but relies on the driving force of jet action. Per sack. A plus valve 25 psi is needed with a 1.5 inch inlet span. The large water surface and large trap size makes the model efficient and suitable for commercial use. Plashing is very noisy, expensive. Okay, expensive plastic. I mean, 1.5 pedaling one inch. Tank in tank. So pressure tank. A stink tank is located inside the China tank. So ito na yung tank. So a steel tank is located inside the China tank. Uses pressure from water supply system. A 1.5 inch water supply line provides 25 PSI. Meron din kanyang one half. Ito rin yun. Pag... Depende sa pressure. Compressing trap air in the tank. So when plus the compressed air forces the water out. The bowl is designed to accept the torrent of water. The crest of surging water impedes the bowl through the indulge tap. A large water surface makes this model efficient. Design features makes it suitable for residential use. Plashing is very noisy. Low water usage, 1.5 gallons per yeah. Pictures helps conserve water. It's expensive. So kasi pressure tank. Dito siya yung ordinary water tank. Plus tank. So, this is no pala. 
pressure tank, 1.5 pension sa'yo niya. Para lang siyang pascal. So, bihira ito sa atin. Ha? Masing tanong han. Ito, commercial, meron ito sa atin. So, may nagigita kang bank bulb dito. Yan. Yeah. Kaya dapat kung nag-design ka, nag-design ka ng ordinary tas tank, ito pala, ginamit na na is may ganyan, parang brother tank. At tas kasi compressor, ito yung water, nag-expand siya. So, mahal dyan, bira pa yan dito. Kailangan ma-verify nyo, baka yun ang ginamit, in-estimate mo, in-design mo dun sa ordinary tas tank. So, rematin na yung pipe mo. One is lag mo, sa ina, one is lag mo. Ganyan nangyayari. So, water supply for water closet. So, ito yung ordinary, ha? Plus tank. Ito yung closer meter blog. But, the water supply for the plastic action of water closet can be using a plus bulb, that is closer meter, or a plus tank. Other means must be capable of providing an adequate quantity of water for the proper and efficient machine of the water closet. It has been found, depending upon the manufacturer and the type of water closet, it has been found that 3.5 to 7 gallons of water are ample to accomplish this purpose. A plus bulb shall deliver this quantity at a rate of from 30 to 45 gallons per minute, depending upon the pressure at the bulb inlet. This is the for the plus bulb. Ah, plus bulb yan, 30 gallons per minute. Urinals. So ito rin, may plus bulb din ito. So di pa kayo nakakita ng urinals na may tanke. So yung tanke dito, parang sa water closet, tapos distribute yung piping down. Okay? Tingnan nyo sa drawing. Verify nyo sa architect. Kasi misin yung drawing nila, butas lang. Yung pala may bulb. So iba rin ang design na. Urinals are manufactured as floor mounted, wall hung, this is a wall hung, or free standing, in various sizes, in shapes for men and women. Wala. Ah, sige. Ano naman sa internet dyan, makita yung images niya. So, the water supply for urinals must meet the same requirement as for water closet. Siphon jet and low out urinals provide uh, flushing action that will remove foreign matters deposited in the urinals and the cigarette and cigarette bags, candy, wrappers, etc. The wash out and wash down model, the long type, are quieter in operation but do not have the advantage of removing foreign matter. They are intended to remove liquid waste. So, it's the owner type. Second jet and blow out. Next is the wash out and wash down. Ito yung mga urinals. It is. The plus bulb dyan. So, so, so. Pasok dito. Ito pa lang bag. Ito. Ito yung bag niya sa baba. Okay. So, wash down versus siphon urinals. Wash out. Oops. Doble lang. Sabi ito. Wash out or wash down urinals. Wait, there's wrong grammar. Ah, yeah. Wash out or wash down urinal releases water through ports in the top of the urinal or on the side of the lower bowl to clean the urinal and remove waste water. In another word, it fills up the water before cycling down the glass. A siphon jet urinal uses a concentrated stream of water to fill the lower bowl portion of the urinal and create a siphon action to the pit up. In another word, the jet pulls at the same time as the water falls to create a cyclone stream down the drain. 
Regarding the method of removing the urine from the bowel or trough, there are two basic types, the plus and the waterless. Within plus type system, the useful option are manual, time, and automatic. Manual, this type of urinal is generally fitted with a button or lever that allows the user to pass the system when finished with it. Buttons or levers are usually found higher up where they are operated by hand. Some systems have the button lower down where it is activated by foot, although this is less common. Time. This type of urinal has a built-in mechanical or electronic timer that flashes the system at regular intervals without needed, needing user intervention. <coughs> automatic. In an automatically passing urinal, there is a sensor or beam that determines when the device has been used and passes it after use. Then, waterless urinal have been gaining in popularity in recent times, mostly due to the negative environmental effect caused by plus system needing a lot of fresh water to function and also feeding large amount of fresh water into the water treatment system. Next, laboratories. Yeah, daming design, ba? Ano yung American Standard? Ano pa yung mga brand? Ano yung sa internet mga brand yan? Marami kayo may kita. Nangulit na kayo ng brochure. So, kung naging master planner kayo, so, nangulit na kayo ng brochure kung gusto. O, check, check na lang pag kailangan. So, laboratories come in practically all sizes and shapes providing an unlimited selection. They can be classified in five different types. The slab, splash back, shelf back. Ayan, ito yung slab type. Splash back. Ayan. Back. So, kung nag-splash ka, balik dito. Ito. Shelf back, place back, and countertop. Countertop, alam niyo yun, sa ibabaw. Yung table. Special purpose laboratories can use one be based within these five categories. This lab type laboratory comes in Bitos, China and is supported by concealed exposed arm. Wall bracket and chrome legs. The back of the picture is as well installed two inches from the wall to facilitate cleaning the wall behind the laboratory. This dust back laboratory has an integral back and is recommended for sanitary purposes. Splashing, which can run down the back of the slab type, stays on the fixture. The picture is made of bistro china and is supported by wall hanger or by concealed of exposed. The shelf back. Ah, okay. The shelf back laboratory reduce, reduces its flashing and in addition provide a shelf for the storage of toiletries. So may patungan ka. The picture is made of either Betos China or Enamel Pak. So naman yung leads back, the battery offers some splash deduction and some shelf area. This type as well as the others has displayed depressions molded into the picture for holding balsam. Manufacturers offer modification to provide or delete additional holes or depression. An additional hole may be provided for the addition of a liquid soap dispenser. Butas -butas. Countertop laboratories, so yan, pinapatang lang sa mesa, are the most recent and probably the more diversified of any category. They come in various materials, including Betos China, and America's iron, stainless steel, plastic, fiberglass, and precast artificial marble. A development that has contributed to the popularity and acceptance of countertop laboratories is the self dreaming features that does not require the use of stainless steel. Yan, sa granite siya. So ito yung mga design, details ng laboratory na ilalagay mo sa plano. Okay, hindi ko na ilagay ito yung sa so, nagawa ko. Pinapya ko na lang yung sa weblocad.com. Ayan, puro Spanish. I-convert I -convert nyo na lang sa English. So ito yung mga laboratories. May bench siya ah. Meron siyang pit trap lagi. Ang drawing doon, pit trap papunta sa likod. Hindi mo na yung pit trap papunta sa harap. Wala kang nagpadadaan. Ito, 
may hot and cold. Ito wala. Ito yung drain. Tailpiece tawa. Compression din kasi tatat ay atat mo sa dito. Pagating dito, one in one up lang. Pagating dito, two inches. Sinks. So, same to ng laboratory. This is a white, there is a white selection of sink types avail available. They come in single, double, and triple compartment models. Two compartment sinks with both compartments, the same size, are most widely used model. It is recommended that one compartment be at least 15 inches by 18 inches in size for residential use to allow acceptance of a rustic pan. Faucet spout should be high enough to place a large spot beneath without any difficulty. Yeah. Stainless steel sinks, surgeon sinks, mga laboratories yan. Yeah. Ito, kung nag-uugas ang ito, di ba? Mga pagkain, kinainan. So, yan example ng sink. This washing. So, yan. Okay. Ito yung pit up. Ito 2 inches. Pina 2 inches lang kasi available sa market ng drainage. So pili ka dito. So, Mag-reduce ka na lang. Try to reduce mo ka. Kung ano, kung GI, okay, meron sa GI mo dito. Pagating dito. May 1 in 1 up ang GI. Service sink. Nasasabi ko yung service sink. Maraming klase. May pang-clinic. May ito. Mayroon siyang, ito mayroon siyang floor drain dyan sa loob. So that is not an emergency drain. So the most popular service sink are those with high back. Wall mounted and supported on a top standard. Or low type map basin which are mounted on or reset into the floor. Protective rim guards are recommended for ideal type. Yung mga rim guard yun. Bathtubs. So bathtubs are available in various sizes and shapes. Five feet bathtub has become practically a standard. But the public has recently indicated they would prefer a much longer model. Perhaps there will be a return to five feet, six inches and six, in six feet tub, which per more readily available in the not too distant past that day. The fiberglass and plastic model have recently entered the market. So the plumbing engineer is strongly advised checking through thoroughly with the manufacturer as to the hardness of the surface and resistance to abrasive cleaner. So enamel cast iron tubs have been prepared because of their ability to resist chipping and rusting which frequently happens with enamel steel tap. The thickness of enamel coating on occasion is two to three times heavier than on pressed steel and a superior adherence to the base. So more about yung mga pictures is mga finishes, architect niyan. So ito yung mga design ng buttons. Shower, yeah. So shower receptors are available in various sizes and shapes. This is the shower head, floor drain, and receptor yang siri. They are available in standard pre sizes, but may be obtained in custom built models to fit practically any application. Well, pre-cast receptors are not deployed, the built up type is used. The pan for a built-up shower can be fabricated from the leads, copper, or various composition present available. The pan should turn up at least six inches and turn over the threshold to provide a watertight insulation. Sabihin niya, may side, may side niya. 
but bits are 2 inches per gram, 2 inches raised by 2 inches. Linking fountains, yeah. two qualities. Or in Spanish, drinking fountains not non-refrigerated are available as freestanding or face-mounted, semi-recessed, fully recessed pedestal or deck types for cocktail tops. When selecting a semi or fully recessed model, the planning engineer should ascertain that the wall or pipe space is deep enough to accommodate the fountain in necessary piping. Electric water coolers are available in as many variations as drinking fountain. It is extremely important to provide adequate wall thickness to accommodate the chiller unit in piping. The location of the chiller unit and will finish should be coordinated with the architect. Uh, chiller, tag ito, refrigerated na yung fountain mo, is tawag na yun, is chiller. Bidet, yeah. The bidet is about the same size and shape as water closet and could be classified as small bag. It is primarily, it is used primarily for washing anal regions after using the water closet. Yes, I'm going to get up some water closet. The hot and cold water supply and the main feeding are very similar to those used for the batteries. Yeah. So, mid, the Middle East. The water, however, instead of entering the valve from the spout, is introduced to the flashing wind. The tepid water flows to the rim, and while heating the valve, it warms the china below rim, which serves as a seat. A spray rinse is optional and recommended for external rinsing. And then, ito, meron pang isa na na hose. And horse or spray horse. Okay. Now, plumbing pictures, plumbing appurtenance, and plumbing appliances. Ano yung pagkakaibad niya? Plumbing pictures is a receptacle or device that is connected to a water supply system or discharge to a drainage system or both. Such receptacles or devices require a supply of water, water closet, laboratory. Discharge liquid waste or liquid borne solid waste or require a supply of water in discharge first to a data system. Examples of plumbing pictures would be a sink, toilet, and bathtub. Floor drain, hindi. Kasi wala sang supply. Eh? Pero lang sa drain. Hindi naman yung plumbing. Yung ano kasi hindi naman connected yun sa Water supply. So, plumbing appliances, water or drain connected the back. Misa tawag yun, a picture din so water, a floor drain. Pero di naman connected yun, kaya sa definition, mawala siya. Plumbing appliance or appliances, water or drain connected devices are intended to perform a special function. And drain connected. These devices have their operation or control dependent on one or more emergency components such as motor, controls, or heating element. Such devices are manually adjusted or controlled by the owner or operator or are operated automatically through one or more following action. A time cycle, a temperature range, a pressure range, measured volume or weight. Example of plumbing appliances would be the washing machine, dishwasher, and water heater. Yung inautomatic yung urinal, so magiging, hindi pa rin siya magiging appliances kasi may ano siya. Ang original name nito talaga is Pistures. Yung bulb lang naman ang inyo na doon. Nagawang electronic. Plumbing appurtenance. A manufactured device pre-fabricated assembly or on the job assembly of parts that is an adjunct to the basic piping system and plumbing pictures. An appurtenance demands no additional water supply and does not add any discharge load to a fixture or to a daily system. Examples of plumbing appurtenance are water meter, pressure gauge, vacuum breaker, and pressure reducing valve. Understanding the difference between them is necessary for applying the building for department for its category 
to a specific plumbing devices. Now, minimum plumbing facilities required device national plumbing code in the Philippines. So, meron din siya naman dito sa ano. Sa... Oh, wala sa mechanical code, wala yan. Sa ibang plumbing code. Alos. Ay, iba-iba yung pagkapresente na. So, dito tayo sa ano. Kaya hindi ko na binago to. Plumbing code na lang. Baka pagalitan tayo ng gumawa. So, plumbing fixtures required. Each building shall be provided with sanitary facilities as prescribed by National Building Code or other authorities having the distinction. In the absence of local requirement, a recommended list of minimum facilities for various structure functions is given in table for the form of this form. So, kandalasa, pag kayo nag-design master planning kayo, bibigyan kayo ng plano. Sa plano, meron, meron na nakalagay doon talaga. Matter closet, meron ganun. Yung mga decision na lang nila yan. Talagay, ilalagay. So, kung gusto mo ma-check, so ito gamitin mo. Pag-check, kasi dapat kasi yung mga architect, kailangan din nila to para malaman kung ilan din yung nagkitin niya ng water closet. May rules. Sa building code din, mga ganito rin. Tinusunod din ito ng building code. Kung ilan yung water closet gamitin mo per floor, hindi pwedeng ang tasa ng building mo, nagkitipid ka. Isa lang ang dalawang si Alam. Yeah. Okay, really cool sila. Sumunod dito sa minimum plumbing facilities. So, for the types of building or occupancy, masanay na kayo. Magtrabaho, ano itong mga types of building occupancy? Uh, assembly places, theaters, auditorium, convention halls, uh, etc. For permanent employees only. So naman, for public use. So, what a closet? Pictures per person. Uh, hindi mo nasunod ito. Okay. Pag may, sample lang dito muna tayo. 1 to 15 person, kumamit ka ng isa. 16 to 35 person, dalawang water closet. Sa mail, ha? So, 26 to 55, gamit ka ng tatlo. Okay? Tapos sa female naman ito. 1 to 15, isa. 16 to 35, tatlo. 36 to 55, apat na water closet. For over 55, add one picture for each additional 40 person. Over 55, bawa 100. So, ilan yan? 45. So, ilang 40 person na dadag mo? Sa. So, additional, 40 pesos isa. So, madalagang dalawa kasi may upang lima. So, dalawa na dalagang. The urinals naman, hindi ito. Walang male or female. So, 1 to 9 person, wala. Oh. Kung gusto mo lang yan, okay lang. Kasi minimum nga ito. 10 to 50, kailangan mo lang isa. Okay? And one picture for each additional 50 minutes. Okay, so dito walang sinabing male or female na. Yan. Pero automatic, bibilangin mo dito ng per person is male. Kasi wala namang urinal yung female. Okay. So next is laboratories. So sa male, one for per forty person. Female, one per forty person. But times, by choice, wala naman ko. As in the places to, <coughs> the new family. So dito, public, so kailangan isa. Next is all male. Public. So marami na ito. So that is 1 to 100 is 1. 101 to 200, dalawa. 201 to 400 is 2. So ganun din. Basahin nyo lang ito, ha? Kung mga rules. Yan. So ibusok ko sa atin. Dormitories is called all that. All labor. Kung mga taga-taba. Dormitories for stop naman ito. Kasi yung label, ito yung mga naglinis, gagalap niya sa room. Andun sa kabanding ng mga residente. Yung staff, nasa faculty office lang. Mga admin office. So, ito, male, ayan, one per, one per ten person. 
add one picture for each additional 25 males and one for each additional 20 females. Terima kasih, one per each. Urinals, ito. Male, female, batam. One per eight. Eight. Kung gusto mo lang yan ng batam or shower. Ayan. Shower. Ayan. Kawalong tao, malagay ka rin sa shower. Minimum, minimum. Dwellings. Ang ba ito? Single dwellings, multiple. Ayan. Isa, isa. Ayan, per bedroom. Hospital. Rooms. Waiting rooms. And then at the hospital, one per individual room, one per person, water closet. Male or female na yan. And one per eight patient. Okay. Madami niyan. So, masaya niyo na lang. Ito, ito, ito. Schools, restaurant, penal institution. Office building. So, ayan. So, may encounter din. Mag-airport to umuna. Ah, hindi. Kailangan pala. Pamemorize you to. Kasi, pag nag-exam kayo ng master plumbing, sa so board exam, tumalabas mo nga yan. Okay? So, as a note, whenever urinals are provided, one water closet is subtracted. From the number specified on the table, except that the number of water closets in such cases shall not be less than, shall not be reduced to less than two-thirds of the minimum specified. Sa ano to ah, sa mail? So pag nag-ano ka, complete mo, mag-complete ka ng water closet, so meron kang urine sa mail, ibawas mo na yung urine na. Basta huwag ka lang mag ano lang, less than two-third ang minimum specified. Kamaya, pa-discuss natin yan. Uh, sample nyo na. One. So, ito ang mga notes. So, basahin nyo ito. Kasi important ito sa pag-ano nyo. Sa ngayon, hindi. Kasi fighting time. Ubus oras natin ka-explain nyo. So there shall be a minimum of one drinking fountain per occupied plot in the school, theaters, auditorium, dormitories, offices, or public buildings. Asana. Ano rin niya? Requirements sa mga school. Wala tayo. And ito naman, the total number of water closet for females shall be at least equal to the number of water closet and urinal required for males. Dapat equal siya. May kita yung sa mga common CR, equal siya. Ito, hindi siya, eh, ano, equal yung total ng water closet saka urinals doon sa, sa male, sa total ng water closet sa pili. Okay? So, may example niyan. Next, sabi doon, per occupant. So, ano yung occupant load? So, marami to. Sa building code din, sa ibang code, meron doon mga occupant. Ilang limit. Anong design mo na gamitin? So, ito mo na gamitin natin. Hindi ko alam saan kina ito. Occupant load. The total number of people that might occupy a building or a space at any one time. The occupant load deflects the maximum number of people anticipated to occupy the building room or the spaces at any given time and under all possible situations. So, this is from IRR, National Building Code of the Philippines. Pala. Yeah. Sa air conditioning, required ito. Sa fire protection, required ito. Uh, oh. Architectural, passive fire protection. Kailangan nito kasi yung egress. Kung kitin nila ang excise ng pinto, kung ilan yung number ng tao, may rules kasi doon para malaman kami yung size ng pinto. Diba? Kung ilan yung exit, kailangan nila yan, number of occupants. In all occupancy floors above the first story, even an occupant load of more than 10 shall have at least two exit. Ah, sana ito. Kasi architectural na ito. So the use of occupancy, during dwellings, mga kailangan ng bahay-bahay. So unit area per occupant is 28. Ito kung wala, yung third plan mo, walang interior. Ibig sabihin, walang mga upuan, walang nakakita ka sa doon ng upuan. So dito ka naman base. 
So, wag daw. Dito tayo. Group dials, 18.6 square meter per person. Apartments, ganun din, 18.6. Dormitories, 18.6. Classroom, 1.8. Conference room, 1.4. Exhibit, 1.4 square meter per person. Open of demand. School shop, 4.6. Vocational institution, 4.6. Laboratories, 4.6 square meter per person. Bakit? Ito, 1.4 square meter per person. Maraming tao. Ito konti lang. Ito buat tulis, konti lang ang tawag niya. Diba? Kasi na, marami yan, mabasag ang mga kagamitan niya. Hospital, nursing homes, mga kama kasi yan. Home for the agent, nursery sport children. So ito pa, marami yan. Stores, basement counter, yan. Aircraft hangar, no repair, 5.6, parking garage, parehas, ah, hindi, hindi nagpantay, alin ang nagpantay ito, auto, offices is 5.6, ipantay niya lang ha, kitchen commercial, 18.6, making establishment, 5.4, parking garage, 18.6, aircraft hangar, 46.3 Offices, 9.3 Yan, okay Ito naman, auditorium, dance floor Maraming tao yan So ito lang nga, nausob lang yan Pantay-pantayin nga lang So sample calculation <coughs> Alam nyo ito kung saan Plano to So ano ito yung makikita niyong plano And then, kukumpitin lang natin Yung water closet So ito yung mga water closet na tank type. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So hindi ito yung standard. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So dapat 10. Diba? So sobra ito ng... Huwag huwag ating sabihin ko lang kasi di pa nila ko compute. Kung tama ang competition ng ani, ito ang nagpasubar ng dalawa. Okay? Mayroon tayong PWD, kung natin isang masang calculation. Kasi automatic niya, tigi isa. <coughs> Ayos ah. Water, may urinal pa sa PWD. Papatayuin pa talaga. Oh. Ewan ko sa mga gumagawa. Ito, dapat po na nga itong mga urinal simpleng office lang. Ito required talaga kasi sa mga student. Okay? <coughs> Sample calculation based doon saan ah? Sa wala tayo. Ah, based doon sa video. So, occup occupants on the basis of occupant log table. Common CR. Common CR. Anong isiserve niya? Ito yung common CR. Isiserve niya ito. Yan. Pati yung library. Diba? Ito muna. Ito waiting area. Tama dyan. Ito muna ito. Kasi ito may sarili silang siya. So, lecture room 1, 69 square meter. Actual area divided by 1.8. Yung sa table of occupants. 39 person. Student. Lecture room 2, 69. Ganon din. 39. Lecture 3, 39 din. Lecture 4, 39. Library reception. 191 divided by 4.6, 42. And then yan, 14 divided by 9.3, official demand. So, 2. Live lobby and waiting area is 118 divided by 28 is 5. Total number of occupants is total number is 205. Yan. So, so yung garing 28, ito, 28. Nasa yung tasa warehouses. Ito ito ba doon? Mechanical equipment room. So yun, ano ha? Wheelings. So nasimple lang na 20 itong lobby and waiting area kasi kailangan kunti lang pa. So faculty CR, excluding din CR kasi may sarili na yan. So faculty room, 35, square meter, divided by 4.6, artisan office, 
associate this office starting square meters and point this square meter is two. Waiting area 57, but by 28 is one. So total number of occupants is 11. So waiting area pala, ito yon waiting area ito. Faculty, ito kasi area yan. Ito games office, yan siya. Ito associate yan dito. So ito yung base sa calculation sa occupant load table. Now occupants on the basis of material design, Common si uh, lecture 1 to 3 for the current task. So, I've been doing that. So, level reception 46. Tao. So, I've been doing that. I've been doing 46. So, I've been doing that 46. Level yan, 4. So, lampas na ng minimum. Ito 12. Ito lampas na minimum. 22 lampas na minimum. So, tama yung ano. Nag-compute talaga yung nag-design. Uh, so, faculty room, 10. Associate teams, 4. Waiting area is at low. Total number of occupants is 17. So use 18. Bakit? Hatiin natin yung male and female. So, upat sa 17 pa to. Sige lang. Okay. So, selected occupants serve common CR 22. Faculty CR excluding things of P17. Check out the one that one Selecting required number of water closet. You're going to ask the for common CR. School is reduced. Water closet male is one per 40. So, female is one over 30. You're going to ask one per 35. Number is male is 1 per 40, female is 1 per 30. Assume 50% male and 50% female. The number of water closet for male is 0.5 times 222 divided by 40 is 2.8, so use 3. Number of water closet for female 0.5 times 222 over 30 is 3.7 or 4. Okay. Number of urinals is 0. 0.5 times 222 over 35 is 3.2 or 4. So number of laboratories for male is 0. 0.5 times 222 over 40 is 2.8 or 3. Number of laboratories for female is 0. 0.5 times 222 over 30 is 2.7 is 4. So sabi naman doon sa notes, wherever urinals are provided, one water closet is subtracted from the number specified on the table. Except that the number of water closet in such cases shall not be reduced to less than two thirds of the minimum specified. So the total number of water closet for females shall be at least equal to the total number of water closet and urinals required for males. To so some male, two thirds of the minimum of water closet is two thirds times three is two. Urinals is four. Okay, okay. Ito, number, ito kasi isusubtract mo, 4, sa water closet. Yung minus mo, negative 1, so hindi ka pili yung minus. Minimum mo is 2, so 2. Plus, the act number of your resident family lang is 4. Okay? So, female water closet is 2 plus 4. Okay. So it must be 2 plus 4 or 6. But ang nalito is 4 lang. Diba? So use 6 water closet. Para mag-equal siya. 2 plus 4 is equal to 6. So summary of minimum pictures. So male is water closet 2. Actual niya is 5. Tama. Urinal is 4. Actual is 5. 5 pa yun. 5, 5. Tama. So min. Pumunta sa minimum ha. Decapatory is 3. Actual is 4. Female. Water closet is 6, actual is 6. Number to respond, actual is 5. So, okay. Ayos yung design niya. Let's check natin. Now, selecting required number of water closet given the house, number to respond, faculty. School for office staff, water closet mail is 1 for, 1 for 1 to 15, 2 for 16 to 35, 3 for 35. 
ML is the same. Uh, one for one to fifteen, not three for what is it? Thirty-five for for thirty-six to fifty-five. Over fifty-five, add one picture for each additional forty persons. Now, urinals male is one per fifty person. Laboratories male one per forty person, and the female is one per forty person. Assume fifty percent male and fifty percent female, eight person each. So, oh, oh. Think, perta natin ang eighteen na panaling nine. Okay, so nine percent each. Number of butter closet for male is one, because one to fifteen. For female is one. For average use, one water closet actual is one. Procedure na tito kasi naman tropo mong siya. Di ba? Di naman ko mong siya na na. Di ba? Oh, di man siya ko mong siya. So average use is one. Number of urinals is one. Number of laboratories, eighteen divided by forty is point four. So actual is one. Yeah. Okay, so this is the end of this first topic. Oh, and the time design to end.